Hello everybody and a happy new year. I hope you have all had a good Christmas and a good new year and all uh, achieving what you want to achieve in the first three days of New Year's resolutions and all that kind of stuff. I've had quite a few email inquiries and a few questions about my book, The Ultimate Triathlon. There you go, you should be able to see it. Um, so I thought I'd just talk a little bit about it and, and how the book came about and uh, what's it about. <clears throat> So effectively, it's a story from when I used to race motorbikes. I had quite a nasty accident and uh, I, I found myself in a wheelchair for a while. Managed to make a recovery and uh, I ended up rowing 3,000 miles across the Atlantic Ocean. I wanted to do it with someone. No one would do it with me, so I did it on my own. It was probably the best decision that I ever made. So the book is about the rowing across the Atlantic and, and what went well, what, what didn't go so well. I ran out of food 230 miles from Antigua. I never used the word starving because when you find out what starving is really like, you don't want to be starving. It's good character building though, I guess. I then talk a little bit about how I ended up rowing across the Atlantic to the following year climbing Mount Everest, which is not something that I set out to do, it just happened. And you know, when you push yourself outside of your comfort zone, doors of opportunity will just naturally open. And there's a, there's a whole story how I ended up climbing Everest. And again, that was the hardest thing I've ever, ever done in my life. And I got to the top because I was lucky. A lot of things worked out for me. I didn't get to the top because I was some badass adventurer. So the book is, goes into great detail actually about climbing Everest and my view on it, how I found it, a breakdown of it. You know, Everest gets a really bad rap in the press, but my experience was incredible. I can't say anything bad about Everest or the people that I was out there with, but it's just my opinion. Um, I was quite ill when I got back from Everest. I had uh, pneumonia, quite a nasty lung infection and I spent a little bit of time in hospital <laughs> and I then ended up cycling around the world the following year. And it was cycling around the world that I learned that actually human beings are incredible. There's so many great people out there. So many people were so good to me and the stories that I have from cycling around the world are all in the book. Um, and it was just, you know, it doesn't matter what country you come from, it doesn't matter what skin colour you have, it doesn't matter what religion you are into, human beings are incredible and a lot of people were very very good to me. So if you have an interest in kind of outdoor adventure, rowing, ocean rowing, uh, climbing, cycling, anything kind of outdoorsy, I think the book might appeal to you. It's on my website, I'm going to put a link in the description, I deliberately priced it quite cheap. I think it's fairly fairly reasonable. Uh, it's only ten pounds, and uh, it's funny how the name Ultimate Triathlon was kind of born. I've never actually participated in a triathlon, and when I got back from cycling around the world, there was a lot of well, actually, there there, there wasn't a lot of media going on actually, and I was I was very lucky. It was a very quiet time. And the media found out that there's about 8 billion people on this planet and I, at that moment in time, became the first and only guy that's completed all three things. You know, rode, rode across the Atlantic, summited Everest and cycled around the world. I think to the best of my knowledge that is still the case today, but I'm not overly fussed about that. It's just a combination of three things, basically. So the media came up with this tagline of the ultimate triathlon and that just kind of stuck. I wanted to call the book It's All Mental because everything you do uh, in life is in your mind. The easiest thing I've ever done was to row a boat 3,000 miles across the Atlantic. The hardest thing I have ever done is actually believe that I could do it. And I have learned so much mentally about who I am and how to focus the mind and really just kind of turning those inner voices off and just getting on with what it is that you need to do. The, so I wanted to call the book It's All Mental and I, effectively I wasn't allowed to call it It's All Mental because you know there's too much of an overlap with the word mental apparently. So I, I was unable to call it that. So that's why it's called The Ultimate Triathlon. But I talk in a little bit of book about my kind of mindset when I was out in the Atlantic and things and you know the mind is the is your greatest ally but it can also be your worst nightmare. 
Um, and so it's just really a case of, of, of using it and harnessing it and being honest with yourself of you know, how you, you are. Everyone has strong points, everyone has weak points. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about the book. I was quite lucky Bear Grylls himself endorsed it. Um, as you read James's story, you will begin to believe that you too could achieve the extraordinary. Bear Grylls, that's very kind of him. He also wrote the foreword, uh, which is in the book as well. So I'll just show you, I think you can kind of see it here, the ultimate triathlon. There you go. There's a, there's a whole load of pictures and things in there as well, but I'll post the link in the description. And if you, and generally I can always arrange to sign them as well. So if you wanted a, a signed copy, that's not really a problem. I can arrange that for you. The next book is going to be the one. A lot of stuff has happened since I got back from cycling around the world. And it's a story in itself. And it's, as I record this, it's January 2018. This year I'm about to embark on another massive project. Now that will be launched and I will talk about that soon. I'm hoping to leave in May, but I can't talk about it just yet. But when I can, it will blow your mind. So anyway guys, I just wanted to talk for a few minutes about the book, what it's about, and let you know where you can get it from if you're interested. If not, no worries at all. It's also on Amazon as an ebook. I think it's only a couple of pounds, so you can download it on Amazon if you wanted to. Again, I'll put the link in the description. And uh, if you've got any questions at all, just drop them in the, uh, the comment section below. And uh, thank you ever so much, guys. Out for now.